So what we've done here, we have, we have three people right now. We're waiting for the fourth. <coughs> Connecting via Bluetooth right now as well. But you can see we've got an iPad, we have another iPad, and David's iPhone. He's using a, a 3G, a 3G or 3G, a 3GS. A 3GS, he's using a 4. So we just choose start? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna choose start now. So now once we choose start, hopefully this all works, here's the participant list. This shows mm -hmm. all three people that are connected right now. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna go through the songs on mine, and I'm gonna add a particular track and say add to playlist. What it's gonna do is it's actually gonna start playing that track here, hopefully. So Come on, Jeff. So now we're playing this track. If you wanna so add a track. You wanna add a song? <clears throat> We could, we could intervene now, or we can just add it to the playlist. Yeah, so if the playlist Jeff doesn't now. like this song, he can stop it playing and go to the next he song? He can, actually. Awesome. So somebody else can stop your song. So Thank I'm going to add a song. <laughs> Which he just did, actually. And his song just went to the top of the playlist yeah. and starts playing. But Dave, go ahead and add a song from yours. I just did. So he just added a song. So this is an interactive play, so yeah. it's a much better way to play music at somebody's house than having the guy that owns the house choosing everything. Now, four or five people are putting, are putting their own inputs in randomly. Does it, does it accept them in the order of the which they see? It takes, yeah, There's first and first three. out. If somebody else yeah. leaves, so if there's 30 songs added, and say you were there, you added 10 songs. Yeah. If you leave the house and over, it frees up a spot, and all your songs disappear from is, the is actual. Is the default record. position to play yours in sequence or to interrupt? I think it's always played in sequence. They're in sequence. Unless you, have, unless you choose to interrupt. So unless you unless choose you to interrupt. interrupt. Right. And anyone can interrupt. Okay. That's a good idea. You could. <laughs> it could. And the cool Everybody part, so needs to be nice. You can adjust the you can adjust the volume either from the side or from right here from adjusting the volume. The cool part is, is that if I go back to the main screen here, and I go to my entry log, this is where everything that's that's been played for the last couple of days. And if I wanted to know more about uh, here I would choose, or actually it's never going to find it, that was music that somebody gave us. If I chose uh, Can't Hide Love from Earth, Wind and Fire, I could say I want to look at iTunes or YouTube. If I choose YouTube, it's actually going to search YouTube for this particular, ask if I want to jump. As soon as I jump, it's going to leave the Air Jam application, so I'm going to choose yes. It's going to go to YouTube. Found Can't Hide Love, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Now it's playing back on YouTube. If I would have chose. Can you a YouTube video too? Yeah, you can actually. Once, well, you can't push the video. I can stream the audio. If I physically connect it, I can definitely watch the video through the, uh, through the receiver. So if I, you know, one, inside the YouTube application, you can choose the AirPlay mm -hmm. icon, choose that and go. But go ahead. Okay, I was just going to say, I can add a song and either put it at the end of the playlist or play now and intervene. Oh, so you can. You can choose yeah. if it goes to the top of the list okay. or if it goes to the, the yeah. natural order of things. Then if I upset you with that, you can delete me out and move <laughs> to the next song. <laughs> so folks need to play I'll nice. And, uh, yeah, it's a part <laughs> of it. It's going to be one of those types of things. Well, can, can the owner of the system set a maximum volume level that anybody can adjust it to? In other words, you can really get no. disadvantage. I, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I don't Each remember. device has its, from its basically headphone yeah. output, so, yeah. is the volume up down. Yeah. Um, so they would have to go to the I control yeah. AD yeah. app. Yeah. Actually, out. with with um, with AirPlay and with the Bluetooth volume, the most you can raise it to is zero dB, the reference level. We don't let you go. If you're using iControl AD, you can go above that. We don't let Air, AirPlay go above reference level, so you don't blow it on your speaker. That was by that so was these, by these, these controls override the volume control in the receiver. Correct. It actually does. Well, there's two different volumes. One of them is just the output volume from here to there, yeah, right. and the other one, there's the other one actually just the volume of the receiver. Correct. They do both. So you have the option for both. 